there's nothing more enjoyable than freshly made pancakes. And I'm gonna show you a recipe for buttermilk pancakes with lots of beautiful and delicious toppings. So the first thing I'm gonna do for my pancake mixture is put in my raisin agents. So half a teaspoonful of bicarbonate of soda and then bacon powder, half a teaspoonful of that. Now plain flour, so I'm using my measuring cups for this. So two cups of the flour. We're gonna sieve them in. So just using this part of your hand, just into the bowl. Next is the sugar. So I'm gonna put in two spoonfuls of sugar. So that's gonna add lovely sweetness to the pancakes. Some salt, so a good pinch of salt and then two eggs. So I'm gonna put in two cups of buttermilk and then the last ingredient, some melted butter. So just using my balloon whisk here, just give it a really good mix. Now, so I'm gonna place that pancake mixture just over to the side, just let it rest. I'm gonna show you two beautiful toppings. First one I'm gonna show you is some blueberries. So some fresh blueberries, it's gonna go in there. We're gonna put in some of the Simply Better maple syrup. So about 100 mils. And then to give lovely freshness and acidity, some lime, it works really well. And then we're gonna put the juice in. Now I'm gonna put this on the hob here. I'm gonna let this come to the boil and let it simmer for about eight to 10 minutes until it's nicely stewed. For the next topping, I'm using the Simply Better frozen strawberries. And these are from Pat Clark's, brilliant strawberries. So I'm gonna place the full pack into the saucepan. We're gonna put a little bit of vanilla extract just a splash and then we're going to put in some of this mixed berry preserve this lovely jam so the full jar of that goes in there now this needs to come to the boil now for my last topping just in the pan we're going to do some caramelized bananas and I'm using this beautiful sea salted toffee sauce made from what's from pudding so we're just going to warm this through so just for the bananas we're going to slice them and then finish them with some pecan nuts so my toppings are all ready to go. So just, we're ready to make the pancakes. Good hot pan, and just using the ladle, just bring over the batter. Roughly about a minute or two either side should be enough. And that really depends on the amount of batter you put on. Using your little fish slice, just to flip it over. Oh yeah. You can hear that lovely sizzle. How good does that look? So that's the caramelized banana with the pecan nuts and the salted caramel sauce with a big ball of ice cream. And then we have our beautiful mixed berry fruit compote. And then our blueberries cooked with some maple syrup and a touch of lime. And if you just kind of present them like this at the table, let everyone help themselves. Trust me, your family are in for a real treat.